Hey guys, today we're checking out this homemade uh, breeder box that was sent to me by a subscriber that he has 3D printed a lot of the parts for and I think it's a really clever design, a very nifty design and something that is as good as maybe this, this breeder box over here or better than the other containers I'm using for breeding out. He sent this to me free of charge and asked me to look over it and to give me some first thoughts on how, what I think of it and some improvements that he could make to make this even better product and I think could be able to compete with the this breeder box over here. So let's get into the breeder box. We'll talk about the egg tumblers very briefly, but my main focus is gonna be on this because this is gonna be the main thing that I'm gonna be using or starting to use and trying to hatch out my rainbow shiners are in the tank behind me. So let's get into that. So the very nifty thing about this is that it's an internal breeder box. I personally like these a lot better than the external ones, like the Fluval one that we have up here, because these can be knocked around or knocked off a tank. And you know, uh, if a power outage happens, you start losing temperature to them. Whereas an internal one, like the Zish breeder box here, if a power were to go out and the exterior air was cooler than the interior water temperature, which is usually true in our homes, the fish would start, you know, getting colder in this one up here, but in this one here, they'd be able to stay at the same temperature as the rest of the water in here. And in this breeder box, you're also going to have that same benefit of being inside the tank. You're not going to have it getting knocked off or, you know, destroyed or having your fish spill out of the container onto the floor. And you're going to be able to use the same water parameters and water quality of your main tank. So you don't have to have individual containers like I have here, but rather one that is in unison with the overall main tank like the Zis breeder box here. So there are a lot of different attachments. You can use this and connect everything with the egg tumbler and the breeder box, but I'm going to be specifically talking about this today because this is what I think is the most clever and the, the coolest thing. Not to say the egg tumbler isn't, but I don't have much use for it now. I'm going to test it out with some of the things that I have, but this is where I think is really interesting. So as I said, it's entirely internal and it's a Lee's breeder box, or so I think it is, a specimen container rather. And so he has 3D printed a inlet here for water and air to come into, and he has 3D printed an outlet here for water to come out of. And this part here um, has a screen as well as a sponge filter here. So you can be able to take out this sponge filter to be able to replace it with, in theory, whatever size porosity sponge filter you want. So if you want something that's, you know, finer than this to prevent fry from getting through or coarser than this to allow more gunk to get through, you can change that and have that ability to be able to keep it there. The strainer on the outside keeps this from going through so that a fish picks at it in the main tank, it doesn't get pulled out and all your fish are lost with it. The other really cool thing about this is the uh, lift standpipe here. It is entirely air driven, which I really love. It's really easy to have air driven things rather than, you know, motorized things. And this is just hooked into an airline tubing and the airline will go down to the bottom. And as the air rises, water rises, spits it out into the tank. And then the water is, goes around in here and then back out into the main system. So you're able to utilize a tank like this and be able to utilize that entire water volume for a small container like this. And uh, I think this would be really good for hatching out, say, my rainbow shiner eggs, or for growing up my celestial prodanio fry, or even some of my Elisoma roberti. I think it has very many possibilities to be used and is very versatile. My first thoughts on some things that I would like to see maybe improved or that I think would be um, added, you know, good things to here would be a strainer on the bottom of this inlet tube here. Um, I could see snails or other smaller creatures getting stuck up in here and having a hard time getting the actual snails out. And the other thing would be on the, this part here was that if um, with some of the other attachments, you can be able to use this as a internal um, refu refugium basically, um, but it's not watertight. So there's no gasket here to prevent water movement across um, the barrier here that we have and water would eventually be able to seep through. So if you had medication in here, it wouldn't be able to get out here. But I think this could be really great that you could keep your fish in a quarantine tank basically inside of your main tank and be able to have it up against the side of the glass, have the same temperature, be able to check on them very easily and see how they're progressing. Um, the only problem is that you can't have it below this opening here below the water line because water would eventually seep in um, and then water would eventually go back out once they've equilibriated. Uh, a couple of quick fixes would be to add some sort of way to extend this or to push this up or down. Um, I don't know how that would be done, but that would be my first thought. So that would be something similar to the Zis breeder box where you have a latching system that you can adjust the height of the breeder box and where it is sitting. So if you could move this entire thing up in a tank and you could get this up above the water level, like say right there, and you could be able to utilize medication and put an airline into there and be able to use it perfectly fine. So this is 
the breeder box. I think this is a fantastic thing and I can't wait to use it. Hopefully with these guys, I'm gonna be trying to spawn them very soon. The next thing I wanna talk about is the egg tumbler. So this is a relatively small egg tumbler, but it will work for most hobbyists in terms of, you know, your red plecos or your um, African cichlids. It would hold a, a, a clutch of eggs in here fairly easily. There are a couple really cool things about this. The bottom here has another 3D printed bottom. So that way, um, if eggs are at the bottom of the container, fish cannot be able to come up and suck the eggs through the screen. So you have a screen here and you have another screen here. So you have two screens to prevent um, fish from ever being able to get enough suction to pull an egg through there, which um, I know has happened with other people um, and myself with other egg tumblers. So that's a very um, really cool thing. He also has the ability to be able to add more eggs directly into the egg tumbler um, right here. I'm gonna just drop that part right there. You can add eggs directly into the egg tumbler right here. And so if you have multiple different batches or the eggs are laid at different times of the day, you can just come in and add in your multiple eggs into here and put them in with the rest of the batch. Um, and as always, the air is here and he has a pretty nifty um, way that he has bubbles that come up. It's not a continuous bubble, rather is a large bubble that forms on the inside here and will work its way up. So it's a, it's a bounce rather than a constant rocking. It's bouncing the eggs up and down. So as I said, most of my time I think is going to be spent using this initially. And if I ever get my um, plecos to spawn, I will definitely be using the egg tumbler here. Um, whenever that time comes. But I think this here is going to be a really good improvement upon these two different um, breeder boxes that I have here for raising on my Celestial Pro Daniel Fry. Because these are very expensive, whereas this one is comparable, but the versatility with this compared to that one is above and beyond and is entirely worth it in my opinion to start looking at something like this. Um, if you know that you're going to be raising up fry or want something that's internal, um, like the Zisp Reader box, but once something with a little bit more functionality, like this one, you can still be able to use this as a specimen container or in other ways if you so desire, um, because it is still a specimen container, but you also get the added bonus of it now being a breeder box. So hopefully, like I said, we'll have some rainbow shiner eggs in here soon if I can get these guys to start spawning. And with that, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.